your Storm Shield forecast from NBC 26. We had a little bit of some blue skies, but the sunshine, it was very deceiving because when you head outside, it was very bitterly cold. We had temperatures in the single digits. Then you factor in those winds and it felt well below zero. And guess what? We're below zero right now with those temperatures. Minus six is our current temperature in Green Bay. Feels like 21 degrees below zero. And guess what? We're going to get even colder tonight, believe it or not. We got minus four down in Oshkosh right now, up towards Mountain, minus 10. And Sturgeon Bay at minus four. Then you factor in those winds blowing in from the west at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And we are starting to see those wind chill factors get into the minus 20s to near minus 30 degrees. It is a bitterly cold night, which is why we do have that wind chill advisory and even a wind chill warning effect. And if you think that's cold, just take a look up towards the north. It feels like almost minus 40 degrees right now in Duluth. I am glad I left that area and came here to Green Bay because it almost feels tropical in northeast Wisconsin. It's um, minus 20 right now, 20 degrees cooler, anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees cooler right now than 24 hours ago. We had a cold front that came through and brought in all that Arctic air mass, and we got plenty of headlines across the state from, I should say, uh, wind chill advisories to wind chill warnings. And guess what? We're not going to be seeing those expire anytime soon. We have to wait until Wednesday morning before we see any reprieve. And it's not going to be much because we still got temperatures in the single digits to lower teens for the extended forecast. This is what it looks like as we wake up into the afternoon and into the evening tomorrow. Wind chills anywhere from about minus 15 to minus 25 degrees. And then we get once again down into the minus 20s and near minus 30 as we get towards Wednesday morning. We wait until Wednesday afternoon. Those wind chills will start to creep closer to the zero degree mark, but still cold air mass is not moving away from us. Clear skies overhead right now. That's going to allow that radiational cooling to take shape and allow those temperatures to drop down into the teens and 20s. Thanks to the high pressure Arctic high surging all that cold air down southward into the Midwest. As for sunshine, we'll have plenty of it. It's just cold air that's going to be sticking around here. It looks like the next chance of seeing any type of snowfall will be coming here on Thursday into Friday. But as for tonight, bundle up if you're heading outside, maybe walk the dog because all the low temperatures well below the zero degree mark. And for tomorrow, might not even reach zero for some of us flirting on either side of the spectrum a few degrees or so between about minus two to two degrees above the freezing mark. We slowly rise above zero. How about that? 10 degrees on Thursday and 11 on Friday. That's going to feel very warm because we cool back down into the single digits and three degrees for the kickoff of 2018. What a cold end of 2017, Mo. So cold, but the thing is, you know, <laughs> Santa's probably happy now. He can go oh, inside, yes. stay warm. Mm -hmm. Wait you until know, next get year. Get that fire going. <laughs> right. Wait until next year. There you go. Exactly. Thank you so much. You Gina. got it. All right, well, still to come, meet the cat with Thanks.